Hi, welcome back to Commander Speedy's channel. Um, I'm returning back to Alpha 4.3. Um, it's the day before the Beta Premium is released, and I thought I'd just go through a few bits and pieces um, as discussed on some of the forums and some of the bugs I've raised. There is the ability to um, right now in the alpha which is going to get fixed by frontier is uh, the ability to use tools to actually hack the memory for mo uh, for money etc so i have messed around and as you'll quite see on my screen at the moment i've got a huge balance which is really nice to play with but it also enables us to test all sorts of different bits and pieces also um frontier been dumping lots of money on players over the last few days just so it gives people more chance to play the different ships etc so what I'm going to come and do is um, I'm going to go and show you the uh, Lacan Type 9 Heavy. Um, it's a huge ship. Um, it's taken a good while for me to learn how to fly. Um, most of the time the problem is getting in and getting out the space station. Clearly flying between planets is quite easy, but it's pure from the super cruising and the hyper jump. But the actual size of the damn thing is quite um, monstrous. So if you don't want to see much more than... Um, then I've said so far, then um, obviously this is a bit of a spoiler for you. Um, I don't mean to do so. From my point of view, it's in the aim of testing the game and to show you some of the beauty that's in here. So I'm just waiting. I'm just switching out ship. At the moment in the beat, in the alpha, you don't get any money back on the, on the uh, purchase. As you know, I've got plenty of money here. So we're sat in this nice new ship. So before I do anything, let's have a good look around. So quite significantly different on the cockpit. It does look like a big ship. And certainly plenty of uh, plenty of glass. That is just beautiful for when you're flying, is to be able to look through your console and get a full 360 degree view. Now I do wish I had a an Ocul Oculus Rift. That would probably make it look even more splendid but coming back to um, the services so what's the beauty of the um, Lacan well let's go and uh, show you sorry I still got eight cheers I don't know what's going on it seems that as soon as I get in front of the video <laughs> it just puts it brings out all the ting twi all the uh, tickles and tinges on my face right so let's go to the commodity market let's go and show you what this this ship is capable of. So as you'll see in the cargo there on the uh, bottom right hand, we've got my balance which is still nice and uh, big. Um, but basically the cargo you can put 440 units of whatever you're buying in here. So it's been a while since I've uh, bought anything to it, the high tech. So this is the place that's worth buying computer components and all sorts, or the personal armour. I'll just go and buy a few bits and pieces. I'm not too worried about the cargo. I've already shown you the trading. Oh, that seems like a bug. What's going on? Hmm, that seemed like a little bug. I don't know what was going on there. I was holding the right to say buy lots of bits. So let's buy all the stock. So there you go, so you can buy some cargo. So later on in life, if you want to um, buy a ship for good trading, then obviously this is a, a nice big heavyweight ship for using. Um, I've heard the reference of it being like a space cow. <laughs> uh, I completely agree and understand completely by that description. It's been very good. So if we go to the outfitting, now what well, you got to remember, this is not a ship for fighting. So there are plenty of... Um, hard points but really it's not meant to be there for going out for major combat and actually coming into these different hard points you get a better view of the ship I don't know if you actually get to no there's no option to scroll around oh oh so some of the hard point spots so they're the utility points so we've got the first point which is underneath, which is a loaned one. 
there? What can we buy? It's a class four. So we could go for some missiles. That'd be quite useful, actually. So I like the idea of having a missile rack. And we got the front. So I'm going to go for two class two pulse lasers. They've been really good for me. I enjoyed using them. As I say, you're not really meant to go out fighting in this ship. And it's pretty irrelevant. I'm just going to show you what this thing's like to fly. But hey, while I'm here. So we've got class four. What have we got? Gimbal mounted. Have we got anything? No, everything else is. Again, these menus seem to jump around a little bit more than you'd like. So I've got some missiles, I don't want to mess around with that, so I really... It's probably a gimbal mounted, multi -calent. We've only got a class one, so I need to uh, buy something more later. So let's buy that again. And then the utility... This is a ship that's meant to be defended. Let's buy some defence turrets. Clearly lots of credits going. It's all going to be reset tomorrow anyway, so all my nice cash is gone and I'm hoping some of the hacked bugs will have been gone. Right, so there's nothing here for buying for that and then the menu brings you out if you want to buy the ammunition so I want to buy my dumb fire missiles and in the outfitting for some reason can we change the bulkheads No, so we've got a menu problem at the moment with the bulkheads. Right, we'll come out. So basically, there we go. That's our outfitting and the shipyard. I, um, I don't think there's going to be any contact details here, no. So, let's go and try and launch and leave this space station. So my keybind, what I discovered the other day, and it was clearly obvious. Now I've, uh, <laughs> I'm aware of it. That when the gears, when you put your gear down, you can configure an override for the joystick commands, which is extremely useful. So um, I've toggled one of the buttons on the back of my joystick one of these hair triggers that go up and down so when the gear is down when you press up and down it goes in that direction so you can take a vertical takeoff which is proven very valuable but as soon as you um, as soon as you've put the gears up again it goes back to normal flight mode so I can now adjust system or engine so one uh, s one suggestion has always been is to up your shields in your system so basically when you're flying this ship out, if you do collide with um, the escape hull, at least your shields are on full power. Now this, you've got to really come out really slowly and you just have to trust me on it and I might still hit anyway. So let's use, so you get a better view of what's going on. And there is a point of which the rotation starts and you have to make sure you stay with it so hey I'm out woohoo so very very pleased so as I stated before beautiful view from the cockpit and then something crashed Oh, I just lost the, sorry, I lost my mouse on this screen there. So let's get back into a nice view.
so you can see from the uh, sorry I just hesitate it didn't quite feel right but it is now so you can hear by the noise of the ship it's not as grand or as nimble and if we go full power the engine doesn't sound as swift as the Eagle it's got more of a dull noise to it Oh, and I haven't set up my wind, my weapon, so I need to set my fire group up. That helps. So I'll set that to secondary. Make that first. And clearly, I want everything else firing. For now, I'm again. I'm not really too worried about what I'm doing here. So let's go to Darhan. And I'll super cruise in a minute. So, so here's the weapon firing. Oh, so I seem to have fitted three lasers rather than two and a cannon. And as somebody's remarked before, the cannon seemed to be on the left-hand side. You seem to be just out of alignment with the lasers. Right, so let's go and uh, jump. Oh, put the weapons away. Get in line with Darhan. Right, Let's jump as we've uh, been doing so far. So nothing untowards. Acceleration's very slow as you imagine for a space cow. Three, two. And still this beautiful hyper jump animation. I do look forward to when it's actually more realistic to the area that you're flying in, but for now. It's just magnificent. And then remembering when we're coming out of jump, we're going into super cruise. So we then want to go and select where we're flying to in our super cruise state. Being careful of our proximity to other planets. Setting engines to match, although I don't think that really makes much difference in Super Cruise. So now just that long wait of uh, intergalactic space travel. <laughs> so again, the um, although the cockpit actually looks different, the actual holograms on top have remained the same, so there's no real difference there which is quite a clever way of doing it really so you, you feel like you're in a different ship but at the end of the day you're used to the same uh, heads up display so bring the ship speed down a bit Full rotate, so you can imagine it's not as quick as a super eagle uh, as the eagle. I don't know why I've just started to call it the super eagle. I don't think it's a super eagle. So we have to be careful here because we've got four different things on our possible direction, and we want to make sure we're heading for the gateway and not any other areas. I do hope to make another recording later in terms of being out in an eagle and going to some of the fighting zones I've heard some, some beautiful fight places I've unfortunately not had time to play too much Alpha which has been re regrettable and sorry for the, the, the lack of videos recently my enthusiasm still for the game but real life sometimes just gets in the way frame rate just keeps dropping now and again I think uh, I think that's just generally alpha that's not the recording having a problem and you have to remember I'm on a low spec graphics card here and and PC as well really right so we're getting the proximity warning as we're coming in
So we're just going to eliminate that. Flying too quickly directly at the gateway. Some of the other things at the moment in Alpha, some people have noticed that the Eagle is actually um, not working correctly in terms of heat. So we're noticing that heat very quickly drops off on the ship, which has been a bit strange. But from the uh, for the opposite side, the other side of it, it's making stealth a lot easier. So I press the button to enter, exit, super cruise. It's all well and good if you can get out the space station like I did, and that is great and you can get out into space, that's then quite plain sailing. It's the same as any of the other ships jumping between planets. But actually coming in and docking, well, that's what we're going to do now. So I'm looking at the rotation of the ship. So I'm definitely on the right side. I'm going to set my engines up. And the key point with this ship is because it's so mammoth is not to accelerate too quickly when you're close to the entrance take your time line it up and then enter the bay easier said than done and in fact it looks like someone's just come out in a in a lacken lacon or a lacken i'm sure someone will let me know No, that was just my eyes perceiving, uh, deceiving me. So I'm on full power, it's going to take ages to get to the space station itself. Contact. So we're still six kilometers out. Entered into the fire free zone. So we're going to request a landing port. seem to be getting a permission right now. Come on, give me a docking bay. A ship has just flown in who did have permission. Oh, this could be a little of a bit of a wait. I don't know what's going on here. It is rather annoying when get to watch some of the uh, billboards as they fly around the screen, I guess. I look for it from my cockpit and that you can actually see it's partly into the ship itself. There was a graphical glitch there, I don't know what was going on then. Oh, and there's a beautiful picture of the planet up above us. How did I miss that? 
Right, let's try and... Uh, Oh, come on, this is unfair. I've asked nicely. Don't think I've actually got... Yeah, I've got a clean status at the moment here in this area, so I've got no bounty. So there's no reason why I should be locking me out. If this was a small ship now, I'd be quite happy just to quickly stick my head in the door and have a look round, but unfortunately, it's a big ship, and I'm more than well aware of the problems of docking this thing. Seems to be casting some shadows every now and again, but they don't always seem to be when I expect them. And quite clearly, the sun is right behind me at the moment. Just double check that. And that is a full turn as well, so... That is quite sluggish, as you can imagine. Yeah, the sun is right behind me. Shining the uh, rings up beautifully. Bringing myself back round to the space station. Oh, and someone else um, reading. You can see the hologram of the, on the left-hand side where the space station is. Uh, people have been talking about finding the, the hole as well. Of course, this is another way. Just look at the hologram, and that show you quite easily where the, the hole is. So if you're pointing in the wrong direction of it, it will be <laughs> hidden. So all you need to do is look at the two panels that are rotating clockwise. And you're looking for the one with the little... <laughs> hatch opening basically like the old good old original elite now I seem to have drifted away slightly with my antics right if I don't get a request for no I'm gonna go into super cruise mode and come back in Okay, I've got a mass lock against me at the moment. Drive I'm just going to fly away and fly back in. I've not had a problem recently with docking, so it's a bit odd that I didn't get permission. back into range again within the 200 kilometers at under 20 200 kilometer speed This is the point at which it's um, connecting me up to those in the area.
same range to request, make a request. See if you're within eight kilometers. Hooray! So that was worth flying away and flying back to. So the tactic I found for coming in is a bit like panic really. <laughs> Don't come in too fast quite clearly. Try and line you up as closely as you can. And then I'm going to activate my gears quite close to the entrance. So instead of having left, right, uh, instead of having my little uh, button on top that enables me then to change from systems to engine, will enable to, me to go up and down, left, right, and little direction changes instead. So I'm going to put my full systems on. I'm going to drop my gear. So now I can press up and down, and that's the direction. You have to remember you've got to do this while rotating with the space station, so it's very much like the original Elite. And this is now where the difficulty comes into it. You really need to judge the height of your ship. And just take your time. Okay, so I'm very close. And I'm through. Hurrah! I didn't blow up. <laughs> and fortunately, we've been given a nice dead ahead landing bay. Now, I'm actually much happier with the landing than I am actually getting through the uh, cargo hull or the space hull. So again, it's just taking your time, being nice and slow and delicate with the controls. Oh, that's a little bit too far. Turn it a little bit. Nothing better than grinding the uh, the landing pot. I don't understand if you notice the bottom of this hologram, the line to represent from the ship down how high you are from the ground seems to be really tiny. I think that is a bug, and I assume that somebody must have reported it. Anyway, we'll go to Starport Services. Not sure whether I would have made any money or not. Not too bothered to be honest. Okay, the commodities, commodities market. Someone will bound to go and look at my uh, purchasing earlier on. I can't remember if I bought or sold for less. That's not really what I'm worried about. So this would have been hopefully a nice transactional place to come to. You notice I, there are um, there's personal armour and there's also personal weapons. They're not on the list. Are they on the black market? Is there a black market? No, and no, I don't have anything that. So the rest of my cargo I can't sell here. So there you go. That's the Lacken Type 9 Heavy. Um, yes, that's all I can say, really. I don't really want to show combat in it, because basically it's not made for combat. Um, I mean, I can hell, I can go out and give it a go, but I won't this time. So. That's the Lacken Type 9 Heavy for you. I hopefully haven't made it look too easy. Believe me, it's not. And at a million credits to buy one, obviously, you go and crash one of these when you go and take off or land, that's going to cost you a lot of money, even with them with the insurance as well. So this is Commander Speedy, signing off.